and in a moment where I should have been basking in the glory of an incredible achievement, a two-day conference, one of the most influential conferences in the history of the insurance industry, I was falling apart on the last day because I physically, mentally was not prepared to be successful. Let's go. Yeah, make it look, make it look, make it look easy. Hey, stand up guy, boom, 10 toes. Big body pull up in a range roll. I could chase the whole game when I say so. In 2017, I was going through a tough time physically. I was out of shape. I had no energy. I wasn't eating well. I was drinking too much. And it was impacting my performance at work. It was impacting performance in my family. I just wasn't happy. I was dissatisfied, discontent. Maybe you can relate. And I came across this essay by Emerson, Self-Reliance. And there are a few quotes in here that the first time I read these, it just blew me away. And, and I reread this essay from Emerson every single year, particularly for these four quotes. And what I want to do is apply these four quotes to the methodology that I created for myself in order to, to recalibrate my life because I have always been an incredibly high performer. In sports, I played baseball in college, got great grades, graduated with a math degree from a top 30 school in the United States, uh, had jobs at American Express, at a top five accounting firm. I'd had an incredibly successful insurance career. I'd had all this success. And I found myself becoming complacent, comfortable. I found myself questioning my purpose i found myself questioning you know will will people judge me for saying this you know once you get a, a, even the tiniest bit of celebrity you all of a sudden start letting all these thoughts leak into your head that aren't your own if i needed to change the way i operated if i wanted to be the person that i imagined myself to be in my head when i came across this essay and i read it these four quotes stood out and they became the framework, the guidelines for a process that I call PACE. My PACE format is one of the processes that I teach my executive coaching clients. We walk through this mental framework often. There's many details and nuances to it that we dive deeper in. And essentially, we apply this framework to the particular and unique situations of each individual. Because in the first one, which I have double starred, maybe you can see it here, I have it double starred. This quote will eventually be tattooed on my body, most likely on my left arm at some point. God will not have his work made manifest by cowards. The P in PACE stands for purpose. We must have a purpose. There must be a mission, a goal. We must be going after something. If you wanna be the best version of yourself, if you wanna get things done, if you wanna be a high achiever, if you wanna operate at PACE, you need to have a purpose. God will not have his work made manifest by cowards. You need to leap out into the world with a mission for the inmost in due time becomes the outmost. The A in pace stands for awareness. We need to understand what's inside here. For what is in here becomes who we are on the outside. You can wear a shell, you can wear a mask for only so long and the inside leaks out. We have to be aware of who we are. You cannot pretend to be something that you're not if you want to get to that goal. You need to have a purpose and you need to be aware of who you are. The third quote. But the man is, as it were, clapped into jail by his consciousness. And from this quote, I took the idea of clarity, right? We are jailed by, by, by our thoughts. We are jailed by our mind. We must be clear. We must be conscious. And in doing so, we are able to break free because we can say no to the things that distract us. We cannot take on projects that may sound good, but we know aren't our path. We must have clarity of vision, purpose, awareness, clarity. And the last quote, this being the longest quote, and ultimately, our ending, it is easy in the world to live after the world's opinion. It is easy in solitude to live after your own. But the great man is he who in the midst of the crowd keeps with perfect sweetness the independence of solitude. And from that, I took effectiveness. PACE stands for purpose, awareness, clarity, and effectiveness. PACE is one of the primary mental models that I work my executive coaching clients through. And the E stands 
for effectiveness. We must, amid the chaos of our lives, be able to be effective. We need to get results. We need to be able to work as if that chaos does not exist. If you can operate at pace with purpose, awareness, clarity, and effectiveness, if you can apply this mental model to your life, you will achieve results that you've never seen before. It's difficult to do. It takes constant reinforcement. An accountability partner is a great idea. Journaling through these four terms, what is my purpose? What am I aware of today? What do I need to get clear on? How will I be effective in that work? Using this as a journaling prompt is incredibly effective. But this simple, straightforward concept of pace, which I teach to my clients over and over, they become sick of hearing this term pace, but those who apply it and apply it religiously, they get results they never even thought possible. We blow past their goals because now they're able to say no. They're able to work within their own strengths. They know exactly what they want to achieve and they know how to be good at it. My friends, operate at pace, purpose, awareness, clarity, effectiveness. If you enjoy this show, if you enjoy this content, if you enjoy listening to these ideas, these concepts, these mental models, these frameworks, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below if you have a comment or question about this particular framework. And I hope you come back and watch again. I love you for being here. I'm out of here. Peace. Let's go. Yeah, make it look, make it look, make it look easy. Hey, stand up, guy, boom, ten toes. Big body pull up in a Range roll. I can change the whole game when I say so. I pull up, shut it down, yeah, they know. Running this game ain't a thing for me. I never switched up, no change in me. The only thing changing this season.